So in this video is our last video on sequences and we're going to learn a little more about geometric sequences. We already learned how to write it in the explicit form, but now we're going to look at it as the recursive form. So your deck is that you can write the recursive rule for a geometric sequence, you can write the explicit rule for a geometric sequence, and you can take the recursive rule and write it as the explicit rule and vice versa. So let's review. A geometric sequence is a sequence where each turn changes at a constant rate. So if you look right here, the rate between these of them is multiplying by 5. So on these, they're going down, and but you still have to think of multiplying. What are you multiplying by? You're multiplying by a half, but the sign is changing, so it's negative 1 half. Here are some non-examples. This first one is actually arithmetic, and then the bottom one looks like it could be geometric, but then when you get to here, it is not the same. So we learned the explicit rule in the last video. Um, so here we have our common rate, we have the previous term, and then our n is from the end down here. Alright, so here's a recursive form. It looks very similar to what it was in arithmetic. The only change is this r right here. You have what you list what your first term is, and then here is the term previous in the sequence. So here, if this was 8, this would be your seventh term. And then whatever your rate is. So for example, so two things we need. We need the first term, which is 2. So you could say a sub 1 equals 2. And then we need to find a sub n equals. And then we write a sub n minus 1. And then we're going to take it times. And then we just need to fill in the blank. What is our rate? So taking a look here, what are you multiplying by each time? Well, 2 times what is 8? That's 4. 4 times 8 is 32, so that works. So I put 4 in there. Alright, so down here um, we have our first term, 9. Let's just copy this down and we change what we need. So 9 goes right there, and then we need to figure out what we multiply by. Now since we're getting smaller, it's going to be a fraction. So think about we're dividing by 3, or we're multiplying by 1 third. So our rate if it applies here, 1 third times 3 is 1, 1 times 1 third is 1 third. Our rate is 1 third. So again, writing the first um, four terms of the sequence right here, we have our first term, which is 3. To get to our next term, we take the previous term, so 3, and we take it times 2. So that is 6. And then now our previous term is 6. So if I want to find a sub 3, we take it times 2 is 12. And then take it times 2 again is 24. Here we have a sub 1. a sub 1 is our first term, so we start our sequence off at negative 3. All right, and then we plug negative 3 in, and we want to take it times 3, so that's negative 9. Take it times 3 again, that's negative 27. Take it times 3 again, that's negative 81. There's our first four terms. So really you just got to look at your rate and follow the pattern. Alright, so write the explicit rule of the nth term given the recursive rule. Alright, so we are given this. We need to write this. So the two things we need is a sub 0 and our r. Again, they both have r, so we can look here. My r is 4. So if I want to write my recursive rule, or my explicit rule, sorry, we have a sub n. equals. We need to figure out what a sub 0 is, but we have our r4 and we're taking that to the nth power. So all we need to find is a sub 0. So we know we start at 13. Right? And now to go this way, we multiply by 4. So to go this way, we need to divide by 4. 
So 13 divided by 4, we can write it as a fraction, 13 fourths. Or we can get a decimal, which is 3.25. Okay, since most of you guys like decimals, I'm just going to write 3.25 in here. Either answer is correct. It doesn't matter. All right, so on this one, we have a sub n equals a sub n minus 1 equals 7. So again, we have our rate of 7. So I can change this to be... We have nothing. All right. Sorry, we had to pause the video for the announcements. You have the announcements in the background of your um, video. All right. So we have 7. We get 7 because we have the rate here, and that's the rate we need here. So we need to find a sub 0. All right. So to find a sub 0, we have negative 9. So negative 9 to go this way because our rate will be times by 7. So the next one in term will be 63. However, we want a sub 0. We want the one before that. So to do the opposite, we're going to divide by 7. So we get negative 9 over 7. And we're going to leave it as a fraction. You can get the decimal, but I think it's going to be a fairly long decimal. So negative 9 sevenths is our a sub 0. All right, so now we're going to reverse it. I give you the explicit rule. You need to write the recursive. So we need a sub 1, and then we need a sub n. So I'm just going to copy this down here. Do two of them, and we'll just fill in the blank. All right, so a sub 1. We know our r. Our r is 6. And same thing, we can get our r here. Our r here is 9. So we have half the problem done, we just need to find a sub 1. Alright, so we're given a sub 0 is 3. To go forward in the sequence, we take a time to our rate, which is 6. So a sub 1 is 18. Alright, so in this one, we have our rate is 9, and it might be like, okay, what is our a sub 0? What number is here? Well, that's that imaginary 1. So our a sub 0 is 1. To go this way in the sequence, we take it times our rate, which is 9. So our first term in the sequence is 9. All right, so this one we're going to write the explicit and the recursive rule. So I'm just going to paste. Bring this down. All right, so that is our recursive. Alright, so we have a sub 1, which is 11, and our rate is 6. So we're already done with that one. So now we need to write our next one, our a sub, our explicit rule. So we have a sub n equals, now we need a sub 0, so we're going to have to figure that one out, times our rate, which is 6, to the n power. All right, so we just need to find a sub 0. So we have 11. We need to go four backwards in the sequence. To go forward, we take it times 6. To go backwards, we're going to divide by 6. So we go 11 divided by 6, and we can just leave it as a fraction. So this is 11, 6. All right, so again, this is our recursive, and then this is our explosive. All right, let's do one last one. All right, so let's copy this over. So we just need to fill in the blank. Our first term is 5. Our rate is 1 fourth. We get that from here, and we're done. Easy as that, just fill in the blank. All right. So now we need to figure out what goes in each spot. We have our rate, which is 1 fourth. Alright, so we have a sub 1, we need to find a sub 0. To go this way, we multiply, we multiply by 1 fourth. To go back, we're going to divide by 1 fourth. We're dividing by 1 fourth. Remember, you flip and multiply, so it's times seen by 4, 4 over 1, so that is 20.
a sub 0 is 20. Oh. Alright, so let's review. Remember, a geometric sequence is just a constant rate going up by the constant multiple. Sometimes it's going to be fractions. If it's getting smaller, it's going to be a fraction. Um, and then you have your two forms, explicit and recursive form, and you need to have these memorized for your tests in both arithmetic and geometric. It's a reminder to do your reflection so you get credit for watching this video.